Hi, my name is Steve Trent, Application Specialist here at Equipment Technologies, home of the Apache Sprayer. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of our newly redesigned cab for 2014 and newer. So come on in and join me and we'll take a look. The first thing I want to point out to you today is our new design of the cab. Uh, the steering column has been redesigned for a more automotive look and a feel. Uh, stuff that you're kind of used to uh, in your uh, trucks at home on the newer vehicle. So we wanted to kind of imitate that a little bit for you. Um, first thing, we got some new directional uh, fans here uh, for better heating and cooling of the cab. Also, we have our new uh, location of our tilt steering. We just pull that up there and release it. Also, we still have the um, telescoping wheel here. We can just loosen that up, pull it out, and tighten it down. Of course, our turn signals and things are located here. As you can see through the cab, everything has kind of been located in a very easy to reach position. So we have our throttle here and our shifting as well. We have some of our boom controls as well as the other stuff on the, the ET pilot system over here. We have a new push button start. as it goes through its checks and then we get the green light and then we're going to press on the brake hold down the button to start the machine we have our 7 inch touch screen as well as our console here that has many features the top section here is our cruise control we've added another cruise control to this so a cruise control 1 and cruise control 2 very helpful when you're driving through the field you make your long run at the end of the row when you make your turn hit number two slows you down when you come back into your main run again hit number one it'll accelerate the machine without even using the joystick the next section located here is our agitate up agitate down and then our main product pump below that as you saw we have our fold and unfold for our wings and our tips. Below here is our climate control section. We got our temperature control as well as which vent you'd like for it to be blowing out at. Set the AC on. We can set an automatic temperature that we'd like to keep it at and we also have our fan controls. We'll let off the park brake. This raises our ladder as well as the eductor on the side. To put it in gear, we have our top button on the back side of the joystick. I'll hold that in, and off we go. I have several new features I'd like to show you today. Uh, one is the uh, new buddy seat. It's a new molded back design, very comfortable. But also, the seat is a lot bigger and softer than the previous models. But below the buddy seat, we also have a cooler inside of there that you can put your lunch or drinks in but the other thing that you can do uh, is actually take the buddy seat out to be able to dump the, the cooler the other features that we have here close by we have our agitate up and our agitate down button as well located in the middle is the the primary pump button that would be your product pump below that we have some features to be able to lift the wings and unfold and fold the wings a lot easier than the ones before so it's ergonomically a lot better a lot easier to do these things the next thing I want to show you is our joystick our joystick has been redesigned to make it more ergonomic for the grower as you can see I can just put my hand right here leaving my elbow in the same position and run all the functions from that position move my hand over with the slightest movement I can be using the console. These are very important when you're out in the field all day, uh, you get tired, a little fatigue, it makes it a lot easier when you're doing less movements. As we come around the corner here, I'm going to take a stop here. I'm going to stop, and then once we get stopped, I'm going to show you how easy it is to unfold our booms very simple we have some of the controls right here on our joystick the others are located on our console we want to go ahead and lift those out of the rack 
Then we're going to go over to our console, hit the unfold button. We're going to run both of those wings out. Once those have been folded out, we're going to lower them to a level position. Those sides are done. Now we're going to fold out the tips here. Once those are unfolded, we're going to drop the rack system in the back. And once we reach that desired height, we'll just let off of the button, get everything set up to spray. So there's really not much to it. Didn't take much effort between the, the console and the joystick to make that happen. Very nice feature. One of the other features I'd like to point out to you is our foot throttle. Foot throttle, of course, is located on the right hand side next at the bottom of the steering column here by our braking system. We have our throttle set, and a foot throttle is used in many tractors. Um, but the way this one works is we have our throttle set at a position where we like spraying in. If we see a hill coming up or something that we need a little more speed for, put our foot down, and then off we go. Once we let off of it, it comes back to the same position that your RPMs were in to begin with on the joystick. We'll point out some of the features here of our new stereo. It's a Polk Audio radio with Jensen high output speakers that we have located on the side of the steering column as well as above me on the, on the ceiling back here behind me. We've added some storage up here to the right, as well as having storage down here for some documents. And below the buddy seat, there's actually some storage space down there as well. Behind the seat is a net that will also hold some things there for you. One change we made to our joystick, as I get turned around here, we've actually added an auto steer engage button. This is located on the joystick. So now instead of having a foot pedal, once you set your AB point and get it lined up, you press the auto steer engage button and then you're engaged. To disengage that, all you have to do is move the steering wheel. Makes it a lot easier, just an added, added feature for the ergonomics. Even though we've made some major changes to our cab, we also wanted to make sure that we kept the visibility the same as it has been. And we've been able to do that and it's worked out really well for us. We can see the booms relatively easy. We can see our front wheels very easy. Our gauges, anything going on around the cab makes for a nice visibility. To the right of me here, located just below the stereo, is all our lighting buttons. This will control the headlights, the cab lights, as well as our beaker that we put on top of the cab and in our flasher lights as well. Located behind my right shoulder we have two accessory power outlets as well as a media outlet. This houses a USB jack as well as an eighth inch jack. So if your phone is Bluetooth ready you'd be able to stream your music or any kind of audio that you have on your phone through the stereo system. also want to point out, as you can see, we're driving along doing a video and the noise has actually been dampened quite a bit. Uh, we've added some more technology to be able to keep that noise down for you, which over time makes a difference. One of the new added features we've added this year is our 7-inch touchscreen display. With this touchscreen display, it will display our RPMs, our miles per hour, our gas gauge, as well as our gear we're in um, and also our climate control buttons and also it'll display our cruise control settings but you can also swipe the screen when you do that it brings us to our app based system screen so we have things such as diagnostics 
settings, our rear camera that we can use as well. So if we hit one of those, it'll take us to the different options that we have on our screen. We also, from the factory, will still install Raven products as well as Trimble products, which are located just above our console. Very easy to get to, right in the same line. Everything is streamlined, so it's a lot easier to use. When designing this new cab, we took a lot of information from our growers and current owners to be able to make this new ergonomic design that is streamlined for better usage. Thanks for joining me today with this tour. I think I'm going to get to spray in here, so have a good day and thanks again.